Three Eye Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA funded Atlas survey. We collected a good amount of data, more than 100 observations. The universe just got a whole lot more mysterious and a bit more dramatic with the detection of Three Eye Atlas. This interstellar comet, a cosmic enigma, has been traced back to unimaginable distances, carrying secrets about star systems far beyond our own. It's moving at a velocity of about 135,000 miles per hour, so it's going really fast. You have to be an interstellar object to be going that fast at that distance from the sun. But the real shocker isn't just where it came from, it's what it might be doing. Astronomers are now buzzing about a revolutionary idea. These objects might be literal seeds for the birth of gas giants. This means the massive worlds we thought we understood might have been formed in a way that feels straight out of science fiction. The most shocking fact is, this changes everything we thought we knew about our solar system's beginnings. The interstellar intruder and the planet seeds. A profound shift is happening in our understanding of how planets, especially the colossal gas giants like Jupiter, come into being. For decades, astronomers have pieced together models trying to explain the incredible diversity of worlds we observe across the galaxy. But you see, not all things are what they seem, and the universe loves to throw a curveball. The recent detection of an object named 3I Atlas, a comet unlike almost anything we've ever witnessed, has presented one such curveball, launching a groundbreaking theory that could redefine planetary formation itself. This isn't just a new comet. It's a cosmic nomad, a galactic wanderer carrying the blueprints for giants. Many people are crazy about space discoveries, and for good reason. Each new find, like 3 Eye Atlas, pulls back another layer of the universe's endless mystery. This particular object, first spotted by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, telescope in Chile on July 1, 2025, immediately stood out. Its trajectory was all wrong for a comet born in our own solar system. It was moving too fast, following a path that was open, a hyperbola, not a closed loop around our sun. This could only mean one thing. 3 I Atlas hailed from beyond, an interstellar visitor. It became only the third confirmed object of its kind, following the infamous Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. To put it mildly, Finding even one such object is rare. Finding three in less than a decade is a scientific goldmine. But what truly makes three, I Atlas a game changer, isn't just its interstellar origin, but what it's made of and what it could mean for planet formation. The James Webb Space Telescope, along with other powerful observatories like Hubble and the Very Large Telescope, quickly turned their gaze toward this icy intruder. What they found was truly astonishing. Observations showed a comet wrapped in a dense shroud of gas and dust, called a coma, far earlier and at a greater distance from the Sun than expected. This activity usually kicks in closer to a star when solar radiation warms the comet, causing its ices to turn into gas. But 3 I Atlas was active when it was still far out, beyond the orbit of Jupiter, about three and three-tenths times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The most shocking fact is that its composition stood out significantly. Scientists detected unusually high amounts of carbon dioxide and nickel in its coma. In fact, the ratio of carbon dioxide ice to water ice was literally out of this world, about eight to one. This is among the highest ratios ever recorded for any comet. Think about that for a moment. This isn't just a slightly different recipe, it's a radically different one. This unique chemistry provides a tantalizing glimpse into the conditions of other star systems, suggesting that the environment where 3 I Atlas formed was wildly different from our own. Perhaps its home system was incredibly rich in carbon dioxide, or maybe extreme radiation processes boiled away other materials, leaving behind this peculiar blend. What many overlooked is the true implication of this composition and its behavior, Professor Susanna Pfalzner of Forschungszentrum Ulick in Germany, among others, has put forth a revolutionary hypothesis. Interstellar objects like 3 I Atlas could act as planet-making seeds. Imagine a vast, swirling disk of gas and dust around a young star, the birthplace of planets. For rocky planets, the core accretion model generally explains their formation. Tiny dust grains stick together, slowly growing into pebbles, then rocks, 
then planetesimals, and finally full-blown planets. But for gas giants, especially those massive ones, this process often takes too long. Disks around young stars don't last forever. Stellar winds and radiation usually blow them away after a few million years. Say, two million years. That's not much time for a Jupiter-sized world to bulk up. This is where the idea of gravitational instability comes in. A top-down model where dense clumps within the disk collapse directly to form a planetary core. However, even this model has its limits. The thing nobody tells you is that even with gravitational instability, there's a problem getting past the one-meter barrier, where objects often bounce off each other or shatter instead of growing larger. But if an interstellar object, a ready-made icy or rocky core like 3i Atlas, plunges into such a disk, it could provide the immediate seed needed. This cosmic starter kit could jumpstart the formation process, allowing the giant planet to grow rapidly, accreting huge amounts of gas and dust before the protoplanetary disk vanishes. It's like having a fully formed sapling dropped into the ground instead of waiting for a tiny seed to sprout. This means that 3i Atlas isn't just a curiosity, it's a potential catalyst for planetary birth. This idea is especially appealing for explaining the giant planets found around higher mass stars, which are observed to form quickly. Falsner's research suggests that these more massive stars are actually better at capturing interstellar objects into their disks. This would provide a fast track for giant planet formation, precisely what observations show. It's a wow factor revelation that connects the wanderers of interstellar space to the very foundations of other solar systems. This hypothesis also offers a solution to another puzzling observation. Jupiter mass gas giants are much rarer around low mass stars compared to stars like our Sun. If interstellar seeds are more readily captured by higher mass stars, it would logically lead to more giant planets in those systems. You can see this everywhere in the data, where the presence of these massive worlds seems tied to the larger, more energetic stellar nurseries. The sheer scale of this idea is astounding. A small, speeding comet, billions of years old and from a distant star, could be responsible for the existence of gas giants in countless other star systems. What other cosmic connections are we missing, hiding in plain sight? Cosmic Messengers The concept of interstellar objects, or ISOS, has only recently transitioned from science fiction to scientific fact. Before Oumuamua's stunning arrival in 2017, the idea of objects from other star systems routinely passing through our own was mostly theoretical. Now, with 3i Atlas as the third confirmed visitor, we're beginning to understand that these cosmic messengers are not rare anomalies, but perhaps a common, albeit hard to spot, phenomenon. The thing nobody tells you is that our solar system, and every other, is likely bombarded by these foreign objects constantly. Astronomers estimate there could be anywhere from a hundred million trillion to a trillion trillion of these ISOs drifting across our Milky Way galaxy. That's a staggering number, suggesting there's almost always one within our solar system at any given moment. Yet because they are small, dark, and incredibly fast, spotting them is like finding a needle in an entire hayfield of needles. So, how do these objects end up on such incredible journeys? The prevailing theory is that they are ejected from their own nascent planetary systems. During the chaotic early stages of planet formation, when young planets are still growing and migrating, gravitational interactions can be quite violent. A close encounter with a massive growing planet can slingshot a smaller object, like a comet or asteroid, out of its home star system entirely, sending it hurtling into the vast, empty expanse of interstellar space. These objects then wander through the galaxy for potentially billions of years, pushed and pulled by the gravity of giant molecular clouds and other massive structures, until by sheer chance they encounter another star system. It's a game of cosmic billiards, played on the grandest scale imaginable. 3i Atlas itself has traveled an immense distance, potentially for as long as 7 billion years. Its incredible speed of roughly 130,000 miles per hour relative to the Sun far exceeding that of Oumuamua or Borisov, suggests it has been on this lonely voyage for an exceptionally long time. This gives it a unique character, a history etched into its very being by eons of exposure to the frigid vacuum and constant cosmic radiation. 
Researchers have even theorized that this prolonged exposure could have created a cooked shell on its surface, where carbon dioxide ices were formed and preserved, contributing to its unusual composition. You can see this everywhere scientists look, the evidence of a long, harsh journey. The discovery of 3i Atlas also highlights the increasing sophistication of our astronomical instruments and detection methods. The Atlas Survey, a network of telescopes designed to scan the sky for hazardous asteroids, ironically found something far more profound. This shows how our persistent efforts to safeguard our planet also unlock deeper secrets about the universe. The sheer amount of data being collected by telescopes like the James Webb, Hubble, and even ground-based observatories like the Very Large Telescope allows for detailed analysis of these fleeting visitors. These powerful tools are letting us peer into the heart of these objects, studying their chemical makeup, their tails, and their subtle behaviors to unravel their stories. The idea that interstellar objects are common means that our solar system isn't a closed, isolated system. Instead, it's constantly exchanging material with the wider galaxy. Every now and then, a piece of another star system literally falls into our lap. This exchange could have profound implications. What if some of the fundamental elements that made up our Earth, or even contributed to the early stages of life, came from these interstellar wanderers? It's a wild thought, but not outside the realm of possibility. The universe, you see, is far more interconnected than we often imagine. Comparing 3i Atlas to its predecessors, Oumuamua and 2i Borisov, also tells a fascinating story. Oumuamua, the first detected interstellar object, was famously mysterious. It lacked a visible coma or tail, behaving more like an asteroid, and its elongated shape and rapid tumbling caused some initial speculation, even suggesting it might be an alien probe. While that idea largely fizzled out with more data, it sparked global interest. 2i slash Borisov, on the other hand, was clearly a comet, displaying a distinct coma and tail, much like 3i Atlas. These differences suggest a vast diversity among interstellar objects, offering different clues about their varied origins and the types of stellar nurseries they escaped. The continuous study of these interstellar voyagers is critical. Each one is a time capsule, a direct sample of material from another corner of the galaxy. By analyzing their chemical signatures, their physical properties, and their orbital paths, we gain unprecedented insights into the conditions and processes occurring in other star systems. This is how we begin to answer questions about whether other solar systems form like ours, or if there are countless variations we've yet to comprehend. But what does this mean for our own cosmic backyard, the giant planets we call neighbors? Saturn's secrets. For a long time, the formation of our solar system's own gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, was thought to fit neatly into the core accretion model. The idea was that solid cores, perhaps 10 times the mass of Earth, formed first, slowly accumulating over millions of years, and then rapidly pulled in vast envelopes of hydrogen and helium gas from the surrounding protoplanetary disk. This process, while seemingly straightforward, always had its nagging questions, especially concerning the speed at which these massive planets had to form before the valuable gas disappeared. The thing nobody tells you is that even our understanding of our familiar cosmic neighbors might need a serious update. What many overlooked is the timescale problem. Observations of young star systems show that the gas and dust disks from which planets form don't stick around for long, maybe just one to two million years for a planet like Jupiter to reach its immense size. If the traditional core accretion model truly required three to five million years, as once thought, then how did our gas giants get so big, so fast? This is where the interstellar planet seeding hypothesis, bolstered by discoveries like 3i Atlas, offers a truly mind-bending alternative. Imagine if an interstellar object, a protoplanetesimal from a completely different star system, entered our Sun's early protoplanetary disk. Such an object, already formed and perhaps many miles across, could act as a ready-made seed. Instead of starting from scratch with tiny dust grains, this alien core would provide a significant gravitational anchor, allowing it to rapidly accumulate gas and dust. This would dramatically speed up the formation process, 
allowing Jupiter and Saturn to grow to their colossal sizes within the relatively short lifespan of our Sun's own protoplanetary disk. To put it mildly, it's a cosmic shortcut. This isn't just idle speculation. There's some intriguing evidence. Recent research looking at the composition of Jupiter-like exoplanets suggests they formed much earlier than once believed, accreting massive amounts of solid material early on. This implies that the building blocks were available in abundance during the very youthful stages of a star system's life, and their availability dropped off sharply after a couple of million years. If our own Jupiter also formed quickly, as this new research suggests, then an interstellar seed could provide a very elegant explanation for its rapid growth. So, if our giant planets might have alien seeds, does that make our solar system truly unique, or just another stop on a galactic highway? It's a thought that truly changes everything. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic revelations.